dictator with tyrannical ideals, Xi Jinping. You're an impressive despot who wants his tiny subjects to kneel. You're an asshole, Xi Jinping. Your country's a shithole. Your media's full of liars who do just what they're told, Xi Jinping. I'd like to impale you with a 39-foot bamboo pole. You're a weak one, Xi Jinping. You have noodles for a spine. You gave everybody COVID from experimental trials, Xi Jinping. Given the choice between the two of you, I choose COVID every time. Fascist, Xi Jinping. You're a king without a crown. You hold down tiny people with cameras all around, Xi Jinping. The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote Pork, egg, roll. Look, everyone serves. A master. And I think that's important for us to remember here around Christmas. Who are you serving in your personal life? And that's an answer that only you can give and one that you can choose. And that's a story of not only Christmas, Christ redeeming the world, but Christmas Carol is like the fifth gospel to me. It's about a man redeemed. What kind of a God do we serve if we don't believe that people can change? So if you think you need some change in your life, you can. If there's someone in your life who you think won't change, they can. Pray for them. And you know what? Right here at Mug Club, we were, uh, you know, we were in a spot where we definitely wanted some change, and this year was a year of a lot of change. Makes me for a little bit. There are far more of us, far more of you than of them. Demand change, demand better. We launched this year the replatforming initiative. I've been shadow banned. I've been silenced on virtually every platform created by man. And that's why I'm joining Mug Club. Because of you, we brought on Alex Jones' show, The Hodge Twins, Brian Callen, Mr. Guns and Gears, Nick DiPaolo. And because of you, the Nashville Manifesto happened. That is entirely because of you and the investigative unit. Our source is fine. We will go to jail to protect our sources. And because of you, we get to continue doing this program without having to serve corporate overlords. But that constitution matters. It's not just a piece of parchment. Like those values mean something. I'm glad what you're doing because instead of saying media news, it should say, so the demons said today. Everyone just might want to hit a clean slate policy, but do it so that everyone can start using social media to serve us and not serving this algorithm, non-human brain. YouTube, Facebook, they kept telling us what kind of content we were permitted to post. The machine is what the rock is all about. That is the Leviathan. We gotta stop this because this is evil. They're starting at, I'm superior to you. That's where they start their argument. This big tech does not want this anywhere out there right now. No one can tell us what we can't cover. No one can tell us which trails that we have to allow to run cold. This is the reason that Mug Club exists. We didn't start this fight, we don't want it. But if you wanna fight, you better believe you got one! From the bottom, I think, of everyone's heart here, as a thank you. We cannot do this without you. We never would be able to. And it's been one hell of a year. And we've enjoyed every minute with this damn crew. So Alex Jones, the network, contributorships, Rumble, the manifesto, all of this is because of you. And uh, we can't thank you enough.
haven't heard that one before. That was, that was, oh, hello, you're all there. That was why we were laughing at an inside joke here, a North Pole joke with some of the elves. And uh, you know what that's like there. Mm -hmm. Cap you're my captain elf. Yes, indeed. I help out. Yes. With speaking, quite clearly. No, not not not. He's so a man much. of few words. <laughs> I've been busy with the elves, getting all the gifts ready, and we have all these wonderful people we're going to be talking about. He's a solemn elf. It's been fun. A solitary <laughs> elf. He's a grumpy elf. I tell good jokes. But I'm glad to be with you. This is this is the time of year. Every year we've been doing this now. I don't know if it's been uh, th four, four, five years, yeah. where we do this Christmas episode as a thank you to you. Mug Club. None of this happens, uh, by the way. You know, the Mug Club is uh, the reason they have me, Santa, on retainer. Mm -hmm. It's not cheap, Santa. No, it's not. No. I especially don't show up week. for just anybody. Yeah, especially the week before Christmas. You're a very That's busy true. man. true. Very, very busy man. I mean, you know, there's the rule of delegating. If the elves can do it 70% as effective as you, mm -hmm. you delegate. I'm still looking for an elf who can. It's the time. So I just get more elves. You just throw more elves at it, and eventually, you know, it's a self-solving <laughs> problem. It does. So we thank you so much. This is the time of year where we give back. Uh, of course, you can sign up uh, through the end of the year. You'll get this, this book. Santa's a fan of it. The Beautiful Differences Children's Book to read to Great. your children. Because that's really what's most important this time of year is spending time with your family, spending time with those you love, time with those who maybe need a little bit of help. And that's the theme here this year. We've worked with the One Tribe Foundation, mm -hmm. which uh, works hand in hand with, with veterans, with First responders, people who've served this country and, uh, you know, maybe come on some tougher times or maybe just need a little bit of help every now and then. And they've really helped us to find some families. Uh, you've submitted some. We've worked hand in hand with them to see what we can do the most good. And it's nice, you know, just to cut through the fog at the end of the year and Absolutely. be able to just spend some time giving back and uh, not dealing with politics or culture or social media or Frankly, I'm not thrilled that I have this iPad in front of me. Well, it's necessary. Did we make this? We didn't. No, that was... That oh. We imported. No, that's assembled by one of those uh, on the naughty list, this government. The entire country, mostly. <laughs> so we thank the One Tribe Foundation. You can look into them and see how you can help people in your neck of the woods. And we'll be talking with several families this year, hopefully making their Christmases very special, which is only made possible through you, viewers like you, Mug Club, and, of course, Santa on retainer. So let's first see a very special family. The Carnell family. How you doing? My name is uh, Michael Carnell. I was a United States Marine from 1998 to 2007. Deployed with the 3rd uh, Marine Expedition Force in 2004 to Iraq. And, you know, since then, afterwards, I uh, got out and I started working in, in real estate. Started doing pretty good, but... Um, uh, unfortunately, in January 2021, I was diagnosed with a stage 4B uh, colon cancer that has spread to my liver. It has uh, continued to spread since that time frame to my lymph nodes, my lungs, and my stomach wall. But we keep grinding and uh, keep living life every single day to the fullest and try to enjoy it as much as we can. I am married to a beautiful woman named Gabriella, who is uh, with me. And we have three beautiful children, Liam, Natalia, and Alexa, who are 15, 13, and nine, going on 30. <laughs> that's, uh, that's about it about me. And we really appreciate the One Tribe Foundation helping us uh, put us in touch with the family. Michael Carnell, a veteran who served this country, a true hero. I just give out a few toys every now and then. I mean, you know. I'm a fan of it, but what this man has done really uh, makes makes what we do here at the North Pole pair, uh, pale in comparison. And this man has had a rough go. He's had to endure around 130-plus uh, rounds of chemo treatment mm -hmm. with his family. I'm sure that there are times where, uh, you know, he's, he, he really... Um, it's very precious how much time he has left, and we want to make that time a little more special this time of year. So we have them, I believe, on the line. This is newfangled technology. I'm really a welding and woodworking man, but, you know, they, they briefed me. Let's go uh, right now to spend some time and make the day a little more special with the Carnell family. Can you all see Santa? Is that the Carnell family? Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, oh, it is. Merry Christmas. You're all there, aren't you? Yes, sir. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. To okay, so let me see if I have this right. I'm going from my right, your left, to your left, my right. I don't know. Santa, I have elves who take care of that for me with north, south. We have Dad, we have Michael, we have Gabriella, and then, oh, right there with, with Mickey, I think I see is, is that little Alexa? Little Alexa, oh, and then right next to you is uh, Natalia, and then big brother Liam. Do I have that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the whole brood is there. That's, that's <laughs> wonderful. Oh, I can see that, oh, Alexa's pretty excited. Does, is, that, uh, is that a special, uh, special stuffed plush toy for you there, that Mickey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you take it with you uh, when you go to sleep? Do you take it with you all the places you go, or is that just you wanted to show it off here for Santa? Oh, oh, oh. I bring it everywhere. You bring it everywhere? <laughs> Wow, well, you know, Santa has, uh, here at the North Pole, we have some old stuffed toys uh, you can't see, but we have an old stuffed reindeer. That's, that's more taxidermy, so I can't take it everywhere with me, but I, I know how important it is you take care of that. Now, Alexa, okay, I'll go through you, uh, everyone here, one by one. Uh, you're n nine this year. Do I have that correct? Yeah. Okay, and I, I think that uh, Dad there says you're you're nine, but going on thirty. You're you're pretty. You're an old soul, I hear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mi sure, Mister. Car what do you mean by that when you say that, uh, Michael? Well, she's an old soul. Just she's just nine, but just you know, <laughs> acts way older than she really is. So. Well, hopefully in a good way. You mean she's helpful and responsible yeah. and not that she has creaky hips? Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> sometimes a little bit of a maniac, but, you know, for the most part, pretty good. Oh, well, that's what's fun about children, you know. Brings a real smile to Santa's faces. Even when they're maniacs, usually they're trying to do the right thing. So, Alexa, do, uh, are you still, uh, still very into to soccer? Yeah. Okay, now tell me, your, I think I know, but... We don't play a lot of soccer here at the North Pole. It's more of a hockey town. We have yet to get a professional team, but I do follow soccer because it's international. Santa's favorite players is Messi. Who's yours? Messi. Oh, 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 look at that. What a coincidence. What is it you like about him? Yeah, he's a good soccer player. What a coincidence. That's why Santa likes him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he's a sure bet, in which I don't take part, but I mean figurative, figuratively. Now, are you, uh, are you helping? Are you helping Gabriella and you're helping Dad? You're helping your family all year round? Have you been a good girl? Yeah. Yeah? What kind of things does she do there, uh, Dad, around the house? Uh, she likes to do the dishes, actually. Oh, she likes doing dishes. Is that true, Alexa? Yeah. Well, that's a valuable skill set. There'll always need to be dishes that need doing. <laughs> and then right next to you, we have Natal Natalia. You're, you're 13 this year, correct? Yeah. And you, it seems like it's a big soccer family. You, you actually, you're a striker for, for Solar Soccer Club, right? Yes. And did you have one of, your, one of your games? It was out there on television for everyone to see? Yeah. Yeah, which, which game was that? In Orlando. Oh! In or is that a big soccer town? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I thought it was more of a basketball spot, but I know that soccer's, you know, it's spreading everywhere now. Now you have Brother Liam. Oh, look at that. Look at that giant head of hair, Liam. When's the last time you, <laughs> when's the last time you had that Mars Volta mane trimmed? June. June? <laughs> June! Do you mean June of this year? Yeah, I cut it all off on June. So this was down to a... You cut it all off? You mean down to like a full G.I. Jane? <laughs> yeah. And it just grew back like that? Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. Santa is envious of those times. I haven't had a hair, ha head of hair like that for, geez, at least 140 years. It's still there. I'll take it, but not that thick. <laughs> 
And you're, uh, if I understand right, Liam, you're, you're learning uh, some valuable skills in school, right? What, what is it you're doing right now? Uh, I'm in welding right now. Oh, welding! Well, welding, you know there's a shortage of welders right now, and that's an important trade. Is that something you plan on doing later in life? Yeah, kind of. Well, what does that mean, kind of? That doesn't sound so sure. Is welding your backup skateboarding? Go to the X Games? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know yet. It's like 50-50. All right. Well, it's still a good skill you'll keep with you nonetheless. And we have some elves here. It's, you know, employment retention is hard in this economy. And some elves, they went off and some of them are welding in Orlando. Woodworking, too. So everyone needs them out there. I'd certainly consider it. Now, let me ask you, Alexa, Natalia, and Liam, what is it that you want for Christmas this year? Mickey! Yeah, yeah, Mickey. <laughs> you, you, you only, Alexa, do you mean you want a, a bigger Mickey? Yeah. How big? Show me, show me how big, because I, I can only, I, I can see you, you're right. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! That's a, that's a big Mickey! That's almost something you'd only see in Orlando at the theme park. I don't know if there's one that big that can fit down the chimney. What do you think, Ma? What do you think there, Michael and, and Gabriella? I don't know. I mean, it might be a hard one to fit down the chimney, yeah, that's for sure. It might be hard, but there are ways now where they do, you know, like mattresses in a box, they shrink wrap it. There are ways to make yeah. it happen, I believe, but only if you're a good girl. Alexa, and, and your brother and sister, they're older, so they'll tell us the truth. Has, has Alexa been a good girl this year? Sometimes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, what does that mean? You have to sh share, share like. Um, sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Well, you know, listen, that's also, hey, Alexa, I understand she's your sister, so there's a little bit of sibling rivalry. I might not be getting the full accurate report. <laughs> really, it matters what Michael and Gabriella say. What, what say you? She's been good. She's been really good. Okay. Very good, yes. Have all of them been good? Yes. Yeah, for the most part. Do all of you help out, uh, help out your dad there and make sure he has everything he needs? You sure do. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. that's... That's important. Do you, you, do you know how much your dad has done for this country? You know that, right? You know that Santa, look, I'm, I'm very grateful to be able to do what I do at the North Pole. It brings a smile to my face, but I wouldn't be able to do it if there weren't people like Michael out there fighting for the country and making sure that all people, people and elves alike, can be free. You're aware that, you're, that, that Michael's a, an actual hero, right? I wouldn't go that far, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't be bashful. I'm the one who has the pink, rosy cheeks. <laughs> Everyone yeah. here deserves to know what it is that you've done and taking care of all these people with everything that's been happening the last few years. I, I understand, you know, I have a family of my own and it can be tough, especially really the last year since 2020. It's been tough for a lot of people. And look, mm -hmm. if everyone is good, I think that you'll have a good Christmas this year. If you keep helping, you keep helping Dad, you keep helping Gabrielle, you make sure their life is easier. But we do, every now and then we have a VIP list where, I don't know if you know this, sometimes Santa gives you some gifts early. Did you know that? No. no. Did not know that. Liam, did, here. Liam Alexa, <laughs> Natalia, did you know that, that's, that those are the rules? It's actually in the contract. There's a certain percentage of families who've gone above and beyond who I'm, I'm legally bound to provide them with some gifts early. Does that sound like you? Do you want it to be you? <laughs> all right. Well, we have a couple of things here for your family this year. I know that you're all big soccer family, it seems. And so, right here, so you can do it all as a family because there's nothing more important. We have season tickets for the whole family, for the FC Dallas and you can go as, watch as many soccer games as you want to your heart's content. How does that sound? Wow. What do you say? Thank you. That's awesome. Thank That's you so much, cool. Santa. And I know it's no giant, it's no giant Mickey, Alexa, yet, but that's still something that'll be fun you can do with your, and I'm pretty sure you can bring your Mickey with you. Right? I, <laughs> if if Gabriella and, 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 and uh, the old man there say it's okay, I think you can bring Mickey, but don't lose it now. Yeah, you can't lose Mickey. We don't, don't have Mickeys anyway. All right. Well, we don't have we don't have a giant Mickey here today, 
But we do have something else that's rather big. And actually, my elf is going to bring this in. This is for the whole family right now. We have a big check for you because your story touched us so much here at the North Pole. Wow. For the entire Carnell family for $30,000. So you can help the whole family have a great Christmas this year and ease things a little bit. There you go. Thank you. Oh, Michael, thank you. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> for everything you've done. We really do appreciate it here at the North Pole. A lot of people, sometimes I know it's just lip service, but you know, I've had some family members who've gone through similar things, and if we have the ability to reach out and help someone, boy, I can't think of a better brood. <laughs> And so, look, we're, we're going to be presenting to you guys some more gifts. Uh, I think we'll do it, though. Can you all wait until Christmas? <laughs> yes. Oh, Alexa. Alexa, I couldn't <laughs> see. I was, I was looking at your father. She's crying. I hope those are tears of... I didn't know that, that you understood the currency exchange at your age. <laughs> <laughs> that was really more for Michael and Gabriella so that, you know, you can help them all have a great Christmas. But I think she knows that... You're on the hook for an extra large Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> we do a lot of things together, so we learn together. Well, that's the most important thing, and I hope that this helps your family this year, but really, as long as you have each other, there's nothing that Santa can bring down that chimney. That's going to mean anything more than that. It's not even close. No, right. And Michael, Gabriel, is there anything that any of you were going to be going here now and i'll see you soon christmas eve if you're all very good and by the way alexa natalia liam you're you know, I, I have a direct report from the people who are head of household there is there anything you'd like to to say to folks out there christmas or any questions you have for santa i maybe alexa you have questions about how all of this works i usually do get them you any questions, Laura? she's thinking <laughs> well that's a value that's a valuable mindset as opposed to just reacting, that's when you make mistakes. Sometimes, you know, you get a few eggnogs and Santa, we're shooting the breeze with the elves. That's not when we plan our yearly calendar, I'll tell you that. Oh, man. Well, thank you. I know, look, we have to go here. It's a very busy time of year. And uh, Michael, Gabriella, I know we've spoken with you. We have uh, more that will be coming your way. And, of course, for all the children there at Christmas. But you have to open it at Christmas and be good until then. And please, can you all do me a favor? Promise Santa here that you're going to take care of that man there and that woman because they've taken such good care of you. I need to hear I it. I need to hear I promise. Oh, I promise. Oh, oh, and that is legally binding under penalty of perjury. Thank you so much to the Carnell family. We hope you have a Merry Christmas, and we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you so Merry much, Christmas, Santa. Santa. We, can't, we can't say thank you enough. Thank you. Oh, you've done more than enough. This is a small repayment, I assure you, with a great deal, many back payments in there as well. Thank you very much, Michael. We here can't thank you enough, and your story is one that I know will inspire uh, many people not just across the North Pole, but certainly the country that you've helped defend. We really can't thank you enough. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Merry you so Christmas much. to the whole family. I'll see you soon. Ho, ho, ho. Bye now. Bye, <laughs> little Mickey. I think you might have a big brother soon. Bye, Carnell family. Oh, well, that was nice. Absolutely. Love giving the, the, the people who have served our country something, Santa, that's fantastic to do. So a check to help out. A lot of kids, like toys. We don't want to tell them the toys, but we know, obviously. We've packed well, them. Well, yes, I it, know. They're off of their list. I didn't just pack them. No, you, I built them. You did, Well, that's true, too. So, <laughs> Well, I mean, elves helped. I mean, that's kind of our job. And then you over Oh, they get yeah. all the credit. Do yeah, they I, do. That's, that's unfair. Look, the signature items. You think a PS5 just happens? No, no, that's a lot of work. No, no, of course of not. A lot of, lot of requests this year for stand-up stand up paddle boards. <laughs> the hands are too small. They can't do it. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> and I'm not a big fan of it either. It's, look, we don't have a lot of surfing at the North Pole. You know, well, we have to have Yukon etch out some yeah. areas, and it's really just sort of chop. It's not re they're not rolling waves, but I don't get it. Yeah. Stand up paddleboard, you're not surfing, you're not kayaking, you're moving very slowly. But I hear it's a great core workout. So, 
We'll have some more that we'll be coming to. I believe we'll be talking with the, uh, the foundation. Yes. Who helped make all of this happen. Who, mm-hmm. by the way, helped make all this happen with your support out there through the North Pole and Mug Club. We appreciate it. We do this every year. And we can't do it without you. We can't help these families or bless them without your help. And there are a lot of people involved behind the scenes, not just building toys, but all year long to make this happen. And I believe we have some more Christmas greetings from some of our best friends. Let's go to them now. Season's greetings, Mug Club. Season's greetings to Mug Club. Hello, everybody. Let's make this Christmas holiday the best one yet, huh? What do I want for Christmas? Let's see, what do I want for Santa? For Christmas this year, I'm asking Santa for peace. I want a better chest. Not peace on Earth. I mean, that's a major thing. It'd be great, but I'm actually just asking for peace in my household. The kind of chest that looks good in silk shirts. Make CNN publish and release to their viewership the recently released J6 videos. On a muscular chest. And make sure that paramedics are standing by for the shock that that will have to their viewers who have been lied to for a long time. Just give me a little bit of peace. The kind of chest that carries a a cross, a chain with a cross, or maybe even a Greek horn beautifully. Speaking of that, what I love about Steven Crowder is he stood up for free speech before it was popular. My favorite memory of Steven? Well, we would call it, like in a Hallmark movie, we'd call it a meat cute. We were on a catamaran out in the Seychelles. I was in Detroit, Michigan. I was boarding a plane. We were fishing. I was teaching him how to fish. He's uneasy on a boat. He, he's uneasy in nature. Headed, I don't know where I was going, but leaving Detroit. Of course, I am at one with nature. And there was this really handsome guy I bumped into. Whoops, excuse me. Got a little emotional there. And I remember we caught a wind and I had to tie him to the mast. And he said, hi, my name is Steven. And I recognized him already, I knew who he was. And some orca, some orca came up and they uh, began to swim alongside us. That was it, it was a magical moment. Anyway. Still my favorite moment with Steven. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Jesus greetings. Merry Christmas, especially to the Mug Club members. That was that's one down yes one oh, down i love the holiday more and i don't mean down what i mean is look you don't think that's you don't think santa gets a little misty-eyed oh i know i've got to keep it together kid keep it together <laughs> and here's the thing you know it's coming all shapes and sizes i have a handle on it now good <clears throat> you got it it's your job chris kringle it's your job uh this next one he's a 10 year old Boy. Yeah. Ten-year-old boy, and I'm not throwing the term hero around willy-nilly because he did a TikTok dance. Right. Uh, This boy, Chandler Gibson, he actually saved a classmate's life. Really? Saved a classmate's life by using the Heimlich maneuver. One of his uh, fellow students was choking, and he stepped in, which really can teach us all a little bit here, certainly as we go into the Christmas season. Sometimes heroes appear in the most unlikeliest of forms, shapes, ages, and you know what? There's no reason that on any given day that hero can't be you. And this young man actually appeared in the local news who was pretty excited about it. I believe we have the story right here. Let's go to this story about young Mr. Chandler Gibson Hero. We are meeting a Decatur Elementary student who jumped into action when his classmate started choking, saving his friend's life. Oh, to sit you right here, 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter got to sit down with that fifth grader to hear his story. It was just your average school day when Chandler Gibson says he saw his classmate choking on an apple. He tells me he didn't even hesitate to help. What do you want to be when you grow up? To be an NFL player. An NFL player? Yes. He believed he could, so he did. That inspirational quote describes this 10-year-old perfectly. And when he is interested in things, he goes all in. And he, as he proved with something like this. My friend started choking right here, so I got up, then helped him. Chandler says it was just days earlier when he came across a Heimlich tutorial video. I usually watch YouTube like that, and it popped up. To think, I see a peer choking, I'm going to remain calm, 
utilize what I've learned online to save their life. Yes, he really is a true superhero. A superhero without a cape. Now you are a leader in the school. But with what some would call the superpower of having faith in himself. It makes me feel like, you know, the my parenting haven't gone in vain, you know. Big smile, Stan. With an attitude that more of us could learn from. Anything else you wanted to say? And I want to say, I, I hope you have a great weekend. <laughs> and here's the thing: mm -hmm. doing the right thing, sometimes it's contagious. It just takes one person to start. Exactly. And it has this chain reaction. So Chandler's Heroics, actually, they inspired the school staff to train all of their students and staff uh, on how to perform the Heimlich Maneuver because they know that it could save a lot of lives, which, frankly, when I was younger, ooh, back in the 1700s, was yeah. kind of standard procedure. Yeah, having the, the Heimlich. I was a little alarmed that it, f it had fallen out of favor. Oh, thank goodness for videos. The point is, you know, everything changes, but the bread and butter, the basics are things you should always know, including the Heimlich, and have a first aid kit on hand at all times, because we can't all have a young Chandler. Let's go to him now and his mother, Jennifer. Okay, oh! All right, can everyone there, can you see and hear Santa? Yes. Okay, so that's, I want to make sure, I'm, I'm looking at a small Santa, you know, my eyes aren't what they used to be, so as we do this here with the new technology and zoom and time facing that looks like Jennifer, and is that, is that, oh, is that Chandler Gibson? Yes. <laughs> Chandler Gibson, oh, 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 I've heard a lot about you, how are you doing, my boy? Doing good. Yeah, oh, did you, did you have a good, a good year this year? Yes. You want to tell us a little bit about you? I hear that you, you, you had some, uh, some pretty big events. You were on a local news story for helping out one of your fellow students. Yes. What, what, what happened, Chandler? Because it's important for everyone to hear that. Your story can inspire a lot of people to do good work and, and help other folks at their schools. Okay, so what happened was I learned this stuff on YouTube. My friends started choking on the apple. So I jumped in action, so I did a home lick. Home lick maneuver. Home mm -hmm. lick maneuver. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It's a tough word even for Santa. It's an old Germanic word, Heimlich. Sounds, ag yeah. sounds aggressive, but it's actually to help save. Now, Chandler, where did you learn to do the Heimlich? I, like, I learned it on YouTube shorts. I watch YouTube a lot and stuff, so I learned it. And you just knew right away when you saw someone, you saw a fellow student choking, you knew to, to jump into action. When did you make that decision? Because a lot of people would sit there and they'd get scared and not do anything. Yeah, so I was, you know, how did I make that decision was, I was thinking, so I, I remember to jump in action and save his life. That's so a, you won't, won't pass out. That's incredible. And, and he, he ended up being okay, Chandler, right? Yes. Now, do you think that uh, maybe some more students there at your school will be doing the same thing next time they see someone <clears throat> doing that? Yes, definitely. Well, I hope they follow your example. You know, that's one thing that Santa's always tried to, to tell people. You know, a lot of people get tied up with the gifts and the coal and the reindeer. That's a lot of fun. But really what Santa's trying to do is set an example where you help people with no expectation of something in return, just because it's the right thing to do. Yes. And I appreciate that. Now, I know that uh, also, Jennifer, you'll tell me, Mom, has is, is he been, a outside of the heroics, has he been a good boy this year? Yes, Chandler is a very uh, helpful big brother. He's, he's, not only is he a hero to the world, but he's a hero here with our family as well he's a big help and he's he definitely does what he's supposed to do i couldn't be any prouder than i am so that's that's fantastic and, and what kind of things do you do chandler to help mom around the house with brother i make sure my brother's thing in check and do not mess up the room because i do not want my mom to have a stress day i want i want her to have a great day <laughs> he keeps him in check Oh, that's, 
That's wonderful. Do, does he do that, Jennifer? He keeps them in check? He does. He does. He keeps them on top of things, definitely. And Chandler, do you, do you help around the, the house? Do you help with chores and cleaning up? Yes. Well, that's a good thing to do, not only for your mom, but, you know, it's good for you. To, because I, if I remember correctly, you're, you're still very into football. You, is the... The Atlanta Falcons, are they still your number one team? Yes. Okay. And so one day you'd like to play football? Yes. Well, you know, for the, Fal for the Falcons. What if, what if you, you know, what's your, your, your safety? The Cowboys? Not the Lions. No. No. What's your back? My backup team is the Ravens. The Ravens. Okay. All right, yo, because, you know, the, the Lions, they, they pretty much get coal every year. Yes, the <laughs> Ravens, they got good players, especially Lamar Jackson, like one of my favorite quarterbacks in the NFL right now. Okay, well, you know, the good thing about doing chores is, uh, you know, Santa's a lot bigger than people realize. And uh, yeah. never once seen the gym. It's all from a life of manual labor. Feeding the reindeer, I have to move hay bales, and, and that, have you heard of the term farmer strength? Yes. That's just, if you do those things, you help your mom, you know, help if she needs you to clean the floors or even dishes, that'll help you get strong and help you become a better athlete, increase those chances of, of playing football. Yes. Well, I hope to see you one day out there in the field, takes lots of, lots of practice, and, and what about, uh, what about basketball, though? Is that something that maybe you're entertaining, too? Yes, I play basketball a lot. Like, I go, we got a basketball, I like, go in our backyard. Oh. I go back ring and stuff. But you'd rather play football if you had your choice professionally? Yes. Well, how does mom feel about that? Because there's a lot of talk. Even here at the North Pole, you know, we do have... It used to be a full-contact elf uh, football league, but the conversation of CTE has arisen. So, Jennifer, do you have a preference of football or basketball? I prefer, I would prefer basketball, but he's definitely more into football. Um, I just try to stay positive and hope for the best because it is a very physical sport. Um, his little brother plays football as well, um, but he's on a different team and they travel and things like that. So Chandler, you know, he, he sees that. So he he's um, he it's, it's really what he enjoys to doing, you know. So I just try to stay positive and just hope that he doesn't, you know, get hurt because it's very physical. That's right. Well, it's a very... Oh, I see Chandler sinking his head. Are you, is that you saying, Mom, I'll be fine? Yes. <laughs> Look, she worries about you because your mother loves you very, very much. She actually reached out directly, didn't just send a letter. She called my direct line for Santa, said, Look, my son's been very good. I want you to hear his story, and he's a very unique boy. So she loves you a lot, so it's very important that you listen to her. And if you, you do a lot of sports, you have to make sure you recharge and eat food, stay healthy. So, you know, you can do that with foods you like. It could be, I know you love fish and crab. And, and your mom actually says, and this is special, that she doesn't have any trouble making you eat your vegetables. You do that all on your own. Yes. Two what? days ago, I think it's like one day or two days ago, <clears throat> She made some crab legs with a salad, and I ate all my salad. Mmm, that sounds that sounds delicious. Uh, <laughs> Mom, do you think maybe this year I, I get a little I appreciate it, but I get a little tired of milk and cookies. Some crab legs left out don't sound half bad. Do you think you could maybe make that happen? We make him pull that off, Santa. Okay. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. I, we, don't, we don't get as much. You'd think Alaskan king crab, we'd have it at the North Pole, but it's a whole migration thing, the El Nino effect, so we don't have a lot of it. And I know you love your vegetables, uh, uh, Gibson, and you also, though, it's important to train your mind, not just your body as you get older, right? And education is important. And are you still yeah. really pretty, I hear you're pretty good at math. Is that still the case? Yes. What, what part of math is your favorite, would you say? Um, I like to do like times, multiplication. Yeah, multiplication, and 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 minus and pluses. Okay, you do your addition, subtraction. Do you do long division yet? 
Yes. Oh, that's that's a, that could be a little bit tough, can't it? Yes. Yeah, Sa Santa doesn't. I, it's been so long since I've done long division. I don't know if I remember. Last time I did it was, I believe, in oof, eighteen sixty-four. So no. you know, my memory is not exactly what it used to be. We live a long time. I have elves who do it for me now. Gibson, is it uh, is it uh, still what you want this year? I know you have a few things that you want for Christmas, but uh, what is it? What is it that uh, you you really want for Christmas? I want you on a PS Five. You want a PS? Well, here's the thing. You know, um, PS Fives. I'm sure you've heard have been in a, a little bit of a shortage this year. Yes. So they're so hard. I I'm sorry. What was that? If I like, like, if I can't get a PS Five, recommend it's like to get like. If I can't get a PS5, I'd rather to like get like something, like some shoes and stuff. Okay, so you so you you don't have to get a PS5. You'd be grateful for anything you get, but you'd you'd really like one. Yes. Well, there's a shortage, but the good news is, and let's hit those sleigh bells. Here at the North Pole, we have an inside lane, and if you've been very good, I can tell you about a gift early this year. This, actually, by request from your mother. I can promise you, if you eat all your crab legs and vegetables and do your long division, that you will, in fact, get a PS5 for Christmas. Oh, oh. How does that sound? Yes. Yes? Thank you. That's, this is, you know, they're hard to come by. This is almost, it's better than gold. Yes. <laughs> so, look, I'm going to, but you know, you, you don't get to open it until Christmas. But we have yes. this here for you. I'm going to put it down right here and make sure that we... Keep the ooh, it's heavy. Yes. That means it's expensive. <laughs> yes. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. No, absolutely. It is my pleasure. To, and just so you know, of course, there'll be more presents going over there to your household for you and 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 mommy. Um, and we have some some special things for mom too, because it seems to me that mom's done a pretty good job with you, and and she deserves to get some nice things for Christmas, wouldn't you say? Yes. All right. What would you most? What do you think your mom deserves most for Christmas? She deserves um love, and she deserves like love and how much she like she spend money on us, and and work hard. I think she need like something for Christmas. But I don't know like what she like. Well, you know that's a conversation that Santa and mom can have. But I tell you what. Of course, we all love you here at the North Pole and your mother, but the most important person, do you know who the most important person is to give your mom love? What? That's got, to be, that's got to be you. Give, give your mom a big hug for us, right, so we can all see. Show your mom how much you love her. She put all this together. Oh, look. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Oh, that just warms Santa's heart. That's why we do all of this, but make sure you do that all year round because your mom has a very tough job, but she seems to be... Doing pretty well. And you, of course, if you see anyone else, you know, choking, uh, you know, don't be shy to use that Heimlich. Yes. Okay, is there anything else that you'd like to ask Santa or, or say to anyone at the North Pole before we let you go here this Christmas? Um, have a great day and have a great Christmas. Thank you. And thank you for having me be being on the show. Well, no, thank you so much for doing what you do, being a great son to your mother and classmate. To all of your friends at school, and please keep doing that, and mom, keep doing a great job, and you do that, you'll get more presents at Christmas, and this PS5 will be there for you before you know it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, Chandler. I appreciate it so much. You all have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll see yeah. you soon. Okay, right. thank you. Bye-bye uh, now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that just warms your heart, doesn't it, Elf? Elf Gerald. It does. Yeah. He gave the, 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 the Heimlich maneuver. It was fantastic. A PS5. Mom gets some gifts out of it as well. It's great. It's true. And he has, yeah. you know what? It's a new thing. What? He has two last, two last names. Chandler Gibson. Chandler Gibson. Mr. Gibson. They said, well, you did the football reference. You called him Gibson. That's what they call him on the football field. That's what yeah. they'll call him on the football yeah. field. You have to use a last That's what he'll have on his jersey. Yeah. Hopefully not the Lions. No. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a terrible team. They are awful. Santa loves everybody, but they're testing my patience. Let's go. Before we go to our next guest, uh, I believe we have another holiday greeting you, yeah. here for us at the North Pole. 
which is a surprise to Santa. Yeah. You put me on the spot here, but all right, let's take a look. Hey, Merry Christmas, Mug Club. Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry Christmas, Mug Club. Seasons greetings to the Mug Club. Seasons greetings to the great folks in Mug Club. You know, this year I'm asking Santa Claus for matching socks all the same. They gotta fit, but they, they've gotta match. This Christmas, I will be asking really just for the phone number of Nancy Pelosi's stockbroker. Health is what I'm asking God for this year. Santa, not so much. I'm asking for world peace and that we stop World War III this Christmas. That's my wish. You're doing a good thing supporting Steve. You know, he's a real warrior for the parallel economy and free speech. My favorite memory of Steven Crowder is when Rumble launched, we did a live stream together on my YouTube channel. And in the first 15 or 20 seconds, Steven violated about 15 YouTube community guidelines. And I was thinking, well, this guy's really close to the Hey, this is on my channel! My favorite memory of Steven is when I come marching up, he didn't know I was coming in Austin a few years ago, and just say, I'm gonna attack you, I'm gonna get you, and he knew it was a joke. So Steven gets a good joke, I love Steven Crowder. Well, it's great to be a guest on the show too and talk to you guys. You guys are great, Merry Christmas everyone. Oh, Kool-Aid. Taste of freedom though. I'm a little parched. Oh, Santa, yeah. It, Let, uh, you know, Captain, can you help me? I just have to have a little I would be honest. sip of... Yes, absolutely. So our next... Fan, seltzer water. Seltzer water. That clears helps. the palate. It does. It, yes. it, it, there's some bubblies in there, so be careful. So the next family is the Gilray family with Katie Gilray uh, and her three sons, Camden, Gunner, and Brayden. And Katie's husband, uh, Marine Corps Staff Sergeant Donnie Gilray III, died suddenly in 2020. Um, and since that tragic loss, Katie has been working tirelessly, commuting to work three hours um, to and from work to ensure that she would be able to keep uh, her and, and Sergeant Gilray's dream of raising their family in beautiful Texas and uh, and keep everything going for that family. She really has difficult. had to do a lot and have it on her shoulders. Yes. Very and uh, of course, you know, sometimes children don't fully grasp the uh I guess I should say the long-term impact of that, but I'm sure they're living it day to day, and we mm. definitely know that Katie has, and I would imagine has been probably spread a little thin. Yes. Which really spoke to us here, and mm. boy, does she love her family, uh, and we're happy to be able to uh, help her, hopefully, this Christmas season. Absolutely. I mean, we hope. There's only so much we can do. Right. Absolutely. You know, things like love or health can't bring that down a chimney or through a keyhole. Yeah. But. Helping out. We can help them out a little bit. Here is actually the submission I believe we have from the Gilray family. Hi, I'm Katie Gilray. I am the wife of Donnie Gilray III. Uh, Donnie served in the United States Marine Corps for over 14 years, not only as a Marine, but as an athlete. He played for the football team and uh, he left us on March 7th, 2020. And together we have three incredible children. We have Brayden, who's 13, Gunner, who's 7, and Camden, who's just turned 6. We live in Farmersville, Texas, and uh, we miss Donnie every day. And uh, we struggle at Christmas because we miss his presence so much. Uh, we miss his smile and his laugh and just all the family traditions we used to do. <laughs> hey, Bubba. I would just say it gets really hard around Christmas being a sole parent and being everything to everyone and spreading my time uh, to my kids and making sure everything gets done. It just gets extremely difficult. And also I just feel like everything fails around Christmas and the holidays, like vehicles and something in the house is just always, something just always goes wrong. And it's usually true. <laughs> Uh, I just want to thank you for caring enough to hear about us and our stories. I'm glad to send a longer video or talk more and let you know more about the boys and I and Donnie's story because Donnie is pretty incredible and he's worthy to have his legacy live on. And that's our goal. Thank you. So I believe actually now mm -hmm. uh, we have her and her family on the line. 
Hey, Toolman Elf, you have everything queued up? Sure do. Okay, you know, because that's... I've delegated that to you. Okay. 70% now. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go now to the Gilray family. Oh, I'm seeing this right now. We're bringing up the picture here. Oh, 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 oh. Is that the Gilray family I see? Yep. Yes. Hi, Santa. Hi, how are you? Doing great. Very good. Are you all having a Merry Christmas this this year, thus far? Yep. Yeah. So far. So I'm great. Let me look here and make sure I have this right. I know the oldest there. That's that's Brayden. That's Mama Katie. And then I'm looking at a small screen. Sorry, we have all this technology at the North Pole. That's Gunner and Camden, right? Are you you're still you're six and seven years old? Yeah. Yep. Yes. No. Uh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, is that is that Gunner playing marionette with Camden's hand? <laughs> yeah. You're tre- got lots of energy for you today, Santa. You're treating him like a little ventriloquist elf. C- can you do that again, Gunner? No. Yeah. Oh, come on. Santa needs a laugh. Just what were t- what you were doing with his arm. There you go. <laughs> Oh, we could put some some little paint in his hand. It could be like a little uh, albino senior wince. Oh, 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 oh. So, all right, Katie. I know now. You boys, your your mom reached out directly to Santa this year, uh, and said that you've been all been very good boys. Is that is that true? For the most part. <laughs> oh, for the most part. Well, what do you mean, Braden? What what kind of issues could we be running into? I know I've been good, but. I can't say the same for Gunner and Camden. Uh oh, Gunner, would you say that you've been a good boy this year? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? What What kind of things have you done that that's been good? You help out your mom there. I'm the only one who listened to her. It's <laughs> true. What What was that? I didn't I didn't fully hear what he said. What you said there. I'm the only one who listens to her. Really? Oh. <laughs> And the plot thickens, Brayden. <laughs> no, no, that is not true. And what Brayden. about what about Camden? Camden, have you been a good boy this year? Yeah. <laughs> well, really, the only opinion that matters here, because the the tiebreaker is is Mama Katie. Katie, what what do you say? Is 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 uh is Gunner the only one who listens? Gunner is a really good listener, but I couldn't do it without Brayden. He's always so helpful at everything. And Camden just brings so much joy and uh, drama to our lives. I don't think we would live fully without I only without draw. Him. I only draw. Only they're, both, they're all three wonderful. Yes. Well, that's fa- Okay. Well, let me go through this here. So, so Camden, are you still really, do you still, uh, still very into slime? Do you, do you pick it up, though, if you play with it? What? Yeah, yeah, you do. He tries to make it. Oh, he, but he, it does not really work. He tries to make slime. About no glue. Yes. Which no is, glue. it ends up in the fridge and <laughs> gets messy everywhere. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, look, there was a very popular item with slime back in uh, the 90s. They called it GAC and uh, found out that it was a gross violation of safety and health hazards, so they had to change the formula. But if you make it at home, you should be fine. C- Camden. Do you still like, what do you like? Do you like building things and taking them apart, if I remember correctly? You, you like working with your hands. My hands work, but you always take things apart. Yeah. Santa knows what you do, obviously, because he sees you dismantling a lot of your toys. Ha, 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 ha. Well, that's okay. If, if they're toys that, that are meant to be dismantled, and, and sometimes, do you, have, do you, still, uh, you still play baseball a lot there, Camden? No, he doesn't. Yeah. You don't have to answer the question. I play t-ball. Well, yeah, t-ball. T-ball. That's like training wheels football. for baseball. That's how we all start. I play football a lot. That's he, because we like to play football. He likes football now. Yeah. Okay. He joins us. So we've moved from a non-contact sport into full-fledged football. But at your age, they don't do they stay do they play tackle or is it all touch football? Uh, Flag. No, no, we'll play tackle. Yeah, he, he hasn't play played flag. football for yeah, a team yet. He, 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 if he plays football, he has to play flag. 
They all want, want me to be number four teammate. They want they want you to be number fourteen. The four. Oh, I thought there was something special about that that number. Well, and then and then Gunner, you really I know that you're very into football. If I remember, uh, the Cowboys still your number one team. Yeah. Yeah. Who's who's your favorite player there on the Dallas Cowboys? Thank you, Gunner. See him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Better. Yeah. C. C. D. Lamb. Okay. All right. Well, if I remember correctly, he's been on my good list this year. So, uh, you know, not so much with the 49ers. It depends from year to year. It's touch and go. It's touch he and wants to touch the 49ers. I know he I'm... likes the 49ers, but you know they they they're 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 hit or miss. Yeah. So it depends. Um... And what, what, Brayden, do you, do you help uh, mom look out for your, your brothers there? That's very, you're becoming the man of the house now, right? You're 13? Mm-hmm. So, I'm about to be. What was that? Was that, was that Brayden making, making a Weisenheimer remark? No, it was Gunner. He was saying he was about to be something. Oh, what, what, what was that, Gunner? I'm sorry, you can speak to. You don't have to be shy. I'm about to be eight in March. You're Not about really to be you're about to be eight. Well, that's an, that's an important age. Do you know why eight's an important age? No. Oh, well, mom will tell you at eight, that's when you get all the best chores. <laughs> Isn't that right, Katie? Yeah, I got lots of them. Yeah, well, the good news is you have a lot of, you have a lot of, three boys there. We used to call them farmhands. So if, if they're not pulling their weight, then they, they can expect a lump of coal in their stocking. So all you boys are good and listen to mom and make sure that you're helping her when she asks? Yep. All yep. right. And, and Braden, being the man of the house, now that falls uh, on you quite a bit uh, these days, which I know is, is sometimes difficult to do, but you're 13. Well, what kind of things do you do there to help mom? Um, I, uh, do things that she normally does, like, we have a bunch of animals outside and they yeah. need to be fed every night, and before she gets home, I would feed them, and she gets home, she doesn't have to do all that. What kind of animals? You don't, you don't have reindeer there in Texas, do you? No. We have goats, we pigs, um, cows, and we got, we got cats, dogs. <laughs> we don't, we don't have chickens, no chickens. Mom doesn't like chickens because I poop everything. Oh, well, I don't blame her. We had chickens here at the North Pole for a while, and they're just, they're ill-tempered. Yeah. Goats, goats are a little easier to work with. Do you, do, now, do you feed your reindeer candy canes. No, no, I don't feed the reindeer candy canes. They, uh, they have acid reflux with that. Yeah, so they typically eat, you know, they have, they have a salt lick, they have oats. And uh, we have to sprinkle, you know, of course, uh, on, uh, on Christmas Eve, they get a little something extra. They get a little bit of, uh, sometimes, a little bit of coffee because it's a long night. But reindeer are tough to take care of. They need to be out here in the cold in the North Pole, and they don't do very well in that Texas heat. So, so Braden, do you feed all the animals yourself, or do your little brothers help you? Yeah, they come out and help me with the uh, All right. Well, look, that's important because, you know, your mom has a lot to do. Feeding all those animals, that sounds like a lot of work. But she does have three boys there. Three, you all look like big, strong boys. So helping out with that, helping out with cleaning around the house. And, and most important, you know, letting your mom know that you're there for her, that you love her. Do you, do you let your mom know often that you love her? Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. Good. Totally. Yes. Mm-hmm. That didn't sound convincing. I think you're, you're going to have to give mom a kiss in the cheek or give her a hug to make sure Santa believes you. Okay. <laughs> hug? Oh, okay, that's nice. Come on, everyone get in there. There's room to go around. Braden, you're not too cool. You're never too old to hug mom. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, let's... Mom said that you've all been very good. And, uh, you know, sometimes here at the North Pole, because we get busy, we can't do everything on Christmas Eve. Some people, if you've been very good in particular, you can get some gifts early. Did you know that? That sometimes Santa does that? Really? That, yes, that's, that's part of the deal. But it really, it's, it's very limited. It's sort of a frequent flyer mile for kids who've been 
who've been good all year, like Platinum Elite. So we have some gifts for you there, uh, right now, which I believe you can open the first one. You each have a gift that's meant for each of you. You have one for Camden, mm. Braden, and you have one for Gunner right there. There yeah. you go. You'll, you'll still be getting gifts at, on Christmas, but uh, this is one that's special for each of you. Go ahead and, and open it up. Your mom let us know that this was something you all enjoyed. Have you opened this? Let's get some Christmas cheer playing there. That is a that's a big Lego, and I tried to pick the right one to, for each of you. Those those are right up your alley, right? The kind of Legos that you like. Heck yeah. <laughs> 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 he, he, he got like a Lego for Christmas. No, not Christmas. I mean his birthday. So he's kind of now getting a collection of Legos. Oh, okay, so he's he's growing his collection. And K Katie, does he clean them up after he plays with them? Where do we put no, these? No, no, no. We we put them on like a, a little like desk. Oh, They've okay. So so you yeah, put them on display. <laughs> Where do we put these? All right. Well, look, and I know Legos are fun, and that's important because, you know, it does actually help left brain, right brain when you're building, and it's, it's good for you. It keeps you sharp. But I also know that uh, you kids like to do more than just Legos. And so, actually, where, where is he going? I can't see. Is that, is that Gunner? He's walking off? No, it's Camden. Oh, okay. Again, I'm looking at a small screen. Oh, Camden, come on. Stay with us here, brother. <laughs> you, you're gonna miss the grand finale because you got Legos and that's that's cool but we have one more gift for you for all three of you that I know you wanted and you can all use together so we want to bring some Christmas cheer there to your household your mom asked for this specifically and you can open it all right now as a Gilray family together Oh. Oh. We should get them together. No, no, Camden. Yes, yes, yes. No, it's no. All of ours. Well, no. hold on. It's, it's all of yours. It's, it's, look. It's, it's all of yours to share. Now, wasn't that, on, that was on your Christmas list, wasn't it? Yes. And you know, they're, they're hard to come by, those right now. They're, they're selling like hotcakes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a big one. Wow. What do you think? Thank one? you. This is the Xbox Studio. Right? That's yeah. the newest one. You, and if you're good boys. Oh, if you're good boys. Oh, I just see a hand coming in there. It's like thing. I, got more I can't read. Um, Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Braden. Braden. Braden, you right. can read. Oh, yeah, I can read, but curse is a little bit. Oh, okay. I thought you said I can't read. I was saying, that's, come on now. No, I can read. I can read. <laughs> a lot of those games now, they have more reading than playing. All right, let's open them. I think I have an idea what they are. I know what it is. Oh, yes. 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 A big, what? A big. What was that? What is it? Tell everybody. Tell Santa. Bucks right there. What? What? That's 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 a lot. Well, you know, your mom wanted to make sure that you all had a special Christmas, and now keep in mind, you still have to be good all the way up until and including Christmas. Yep. Just to be sure, and you know what? Do you think that your oh is that is that Camden again? Yeah. Is that he just keeps walking? That's yeah. That's what is he walking off? Is there does he have a handler who he's handing his gifts to? It's just an ottoman. Uh, oh, okay. I'll tell you yeah. what, you, I don't know if you're familiar with the Ottoman Empire, but they tried their way up here and didn't work yeah. at that period in time, but it shaved years oh, okay. off of St. Nick's life. <laughs> now, Cam, 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 Camden Gunner, are, you're not just going to walk off now, now that you have your gifts, are you? I'm just holding tight on this. He does not there is more on. over there. Well, there is more over there, but let me ask you this. If you're good boys, do you think that maybe your mom's been working really hard and maybe your mom deserves something yes, special this definitely. year? 
And yeah. I have heard, by the way, well, the first thing is actually uh, your mom, Katie, of course, the Gilroy family. I know that uh, you haven't had a lot of time for yourself. And so right there, I believe there's a gift card for you. If they can hand it over there to Katie to make sure that you can take extra. There you go. Let's. Hey, look, can you give me a drum roll with your, with your mouth? Go. No, that's OK, Elf. Not right now. Not right now. Uh, for your mom, this is something for your mother so that she can have some special time to herself, considering all the chaos that I'm witnessing here right now. Oh, wow. You can go by yourself and I will gladly go by myself. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank well, you so much. Katie, and that we we you know we thought about doing that. Uh, all right, just maybe a few hours, but you you deserve yourself at least a day or two to take wow. care of yourself. And and Braden, you're gonna help take care of your brothers while Mom has some time to herself. Can you do that? I'm Definitely, stuck. I can do it for as long as it, as it takes. More. For Mom, Mom, I know there's no. more, but look, the rest of this is actually going to Mom. You part of Christmas is being grateful for the things we have. Like very large, heavy Xboxes. Yeah. So, yes. Ka Katie, also as well, uh, that's not all that we have for you, because I know that you've had a tough spell uh, here these last couple of years, and this is the time of year where really there are special cases yeah. who we want to help, and so we'll hit this Christmas cheer and bring in, we have a check right here for you, Katie, here at the North Pole that will be delivered to you, Ed McMahon style, for $10,000. Right there to help the Gilroy family this year. In this, I'm going to hand this back to the elf because it's heavy. <laughs> Just <Shit. be> <laughs> <sighs> these are tears of joy. Correct? It's not like you're expecting like another zero no. on there. <laughs> that is unreal. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Well, I tell you what, your story obviously has touched people here at the North Pole, and uh, part of what we do, we really want to give back, and we just ask that whenever you can, you help other people in need. You see them, because we can all help everyone, even if we're in need. There are always some people who could use a little help. Sometimes they have more, sometimes they have less. Sometimes they don't need toys or money, sometimes they just need a hug or someone to listen to them. And it sounds like your mom has been there for a lot of people, helping them and listening to them. And so we do have one more gift for you, Mama Gilroy. One more. And I believe right now they're going to, I would like for you right now, Katie, to go look outside. Look outside, we have a present for you. You open that up, open that box up first. Open the box up and then head on outside. That's a hint. What is it, what is it? Well, that's why you have to go outside. People need, there's more to life than a screen. Let's go outside. Katie, go outside. Go, go. We'll, we'll be able to see you out there. Don't worry. This way, guys. Right here. This way, boy. And here she comes. And right out there. Oh, my gosh. In the driveway for you, Katie. Because we know that you needed a little bit of help. Getting to and fro, and we wanted to make sure you had something it's that could. It's already getting washed. It's already getting washed, Mama. It's beautiful. Mommy, it's already getting washed. Well, that's not the main takeaway, but straight from. <laughs> we had some help from Glen Polk Autoplex. That's a 2023 Dodge Durango for you and your family, so you can take them where they need to go and hopefully make your day to day a little easier there, Katie. Oh. Camden. Oh, that's what I love to see. Get in there, Camden. Thank you so much. Oh, Katie, thank you for everything that you've done and the family that you have. I know right now you might get wet. Well, you know what? You can go and check it out afterward. I assure you it's 
It's it's real, you know. It's not like it's just out there on cinder blocks with no engine in it. So, Katie, I know that you're busy. I know you have a lot to do. Katie, Braden, Gunner, Camden, is there any? Is there anything you'd like to ask Santa? Anything you'd like to say any, to anyone out there in, in closing this Christmas? Thank you so much, you so much. for everything. Thank you. Oh, well, I didn't mean a, a thank you. I didn't know. Maybe you had a question about how things worked. But, uh, you know, I guess people figure everything out now with social media. So there's no curiosity gap. Katie, we really hope that this goes uh Go some ways with your family to, to making your years a little easier and making being a mom to three rambunctious but mostly good boys uh, that, much, that much more pleasant and brings a little bit of joy to your life. Yes. Thank yes. you so, so much. much. This is a huge blessing. Thank oh, so well, you've been a blessing not only to Santa but to a lot of people out there who I think will be very inspired by your story and uh, realize that we all go through times and... Sometimes are tough. Sometimes you get tough breaks too, but you know, sometimes you also see a little silver lining and there are people out there who are willing to help and sometimes that person is you. So I do this for a living, so sometimes, you know, I, I get used to it, but it always brings a twinkle to my eye and you can do the same for a neighbor. Maybe there's a neighbor who needs help, needs a meal. Maybe there's someone who doesn't have somewhere to go for Christmas Day. Go out there, invite them over. Just say, here, here's a turkey leg, whatever you have. You can pay it forward. Well, thank you so much, and we'll follow up with you, and uh, I'm sure you'll be here. Again, you still have to be good all the way through Christmas, boys. I'm sure there's more coming down that chimney, but you have to stay on top of it. And, of course, Mama will, uh, will let us know. Isn't that right, Katie? Really well. Yes. Right. Thank you so much. Gilray family, we appreciate you writing in. We appreciate everything you do for your mother, for your community, and I'll certainly be seeing you soon. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas. All right now. See you Christmas Eve. Bye, Gilray family. Oh, that was fun. I love it. I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm totally crying. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can't, I can't cry because then it runs into my beard and I look like one of those white dogs always has the streaks, yeah, yeah. you know. I love it for Brayden. Obviously, he's carrying a, a very heavy load, but you can see kind of the joy that you knew his mom got to feel. He really seems to care about his mom. You know, the other two, they might be young or they could find themselves on the naughty list if they keep running off like that. But <laughs> the good news is there's it. plenty of space to run back and forth. And that Have you been inside of that? Though it's 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 the SXT too. It's very nice. Right, that that's it's the extended a, yeah. edition. Yeah, it's fantastic. And you know, I mean, not everyone can have a sleigh, so mm -hmm. sometimes you settle for a Dodge Durango, but they seem happy with it. <laughs> 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 and so, as we uh, continue on here today, actually, I believe it's time for another. Yes. Well, some some people here to the program who more we greetings. Some more yeah. Christmas greetings. Sometimes they say holiday greetings, but we say <laughs> Santa doesn't play holiday yeah. greetings. We don't do Kwanzaa up here in the North Pole. Let's go see some more friends for some Christmas greetings. I just wanted to take a moment to thank all the folks out there who have signed up for Mug Club. I want to wish all the great patriots at Mug Club an amazing Christmas. God bless you all. My fondest memory of me and Steve, the first time we met, he was doing a gig up the street, I was doing a gig at another club. I go to see him, I was done early. I get him in the chest with full Heineken, comes off the stage ready to fight, realize I'm his favorite comic of all time. We go out, get drunk. We're in the hotel room. They put us up in the same hotel, different club. I said, I'm gonna get a pizza. I get on the phone, I call a hooker. Hooker shows up half hour late. Steven's drunk, panics, kills the guy. So what do we do? So we have to cut him up in the tub. Luckily, La Kent Inn had a pool, but it was cold out, it had the cover on it. We threw the chunks under the pool. That's my fondest memory of me and Steve. Come on, boys, we need your help. I can't. 
What is it? What is it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's a cold. I'm gonna go get the. Ready, Camden? Alright, get the hoodie on. <laughs> Let's go! Can we get shotgun? <laughs> I have I have messy feet. My feet. Oh my goodness, third row. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is so cool! You can see like four feet one foot. Like six this feet is actually feet. amazing. There's there's two more feet. This there. is actually amazing. Like, this is like this is amazing. Seven people in here. Mommy, there's two more seats in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's a third so row. God is good. God is good. Guys. Do that when there's some more presents for the boys. What do you think? Is that okay if we open a few more? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Camden, we're going to open some more presents if you want. Let's go, <laughs> bud. We. Open up, open up. Yeah, open them at the same time. Yeah. That's great. Christmas colors! <laughs> yes! Woo! I got a mic! Oh, there's a headset! Yo! Oh, oh, oh. Thank you! Oh, yeah. uh, Merry Christmas to you too! Thank you guys for meeting each other. No, we're not playing Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, 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 that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, right. indoor, indoor play. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. No, I think all of us were at some point during that. Not me. Yes. <clears throat> mm. Held back the tears. Professional. Saint Nick. <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. All right. And actually, uh, it's time to, you know, this is something that uh, bring a smile to your face. Uh, those were tears of joy. Of course, yeah. From you. Well, and. Not Chris Kringle. Not, okay, not Chris Kringle. I love, but I don't cry, you know. Tears freeze in the North Pole. Yes, so that, exactly. It's, practical. it's like cold stone creamery in your right. under eyes. Yeah. So, we've been working. <clears throat> Are they still around, cold stone creamery? Oh, I hope not. Oh, well, you know, you know where they got that? North Pole? Yep. It was an accident. <laughs> Another it was an accident. We just dropped some ice cream out, and then we had some... We had some of the leftover candy you asked cane. Me to go scoop it up. We and bundled I, it together, yes. just slapped it, and they said, "Hey, let's build a franchise." Can't believe it. And we never got any royalties. Spy satellites. Oh, don't get me started on dipping dots. I know. <laughs> so we've told you that we've been working with the One Tribe Foundation, founded actually this foundation in 2013. And you know what? Actually, here to to tell you better than I could ever explain it are the founders of the feast. I believe we have them on the line. Let's go. <laughs> You know, Santa's more used to traveling around on sleighs and reindeer, but I tell you what, get me in front of a screen and doing all of these te technological calls. I think it's the blue light. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Apparently it interferes with your circadian rhythm. All right, I see right there, if I'm not mistaken, we have the founders of the One Tribe Foundation. Is that Jacob Schick? And we have senior director Don Wynn. That's correct, Santa. That's correct, Santa. Oh, thank you so much for making the time. And two good-looking chaps there, too. Uh, I thought Santa didn't tell a lie. <laughs> no, well, listen. It's a little thing. You know what? You have to ask yourself, what's better, a lie that draws a smile or a tear that draws a truth? Truth that draws a tear. I was confused by Wynn's mullet. <laughs> Wynn, can you turn yeah. around and show everyone that? Go, this is... Santa. What is? Don't be jealous. You like that, don't you? Oh, okay. Look, I'm not. It's a, it's a, it's a baby man bun. <laughs> it's a baby man bun, and this is of your own volition, correct? <laughs> That's correct. I did not lose a bet. Well, I can't. You gotta, you gotta forgive him, Santa. He was motor T in the Marine Corps. Okay, I see. There's a little. And 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 uh, Jacob, what were you? I was a 0331 machine gunner in, in the Marine Corps. Okay, all right. Corps. 
And when you're going to let him talk to you like that around Christmas? Yes, he absolutely is. <laughs> you know, it's very similar to the camaraderie we have here on the North Pole with the elves. And uh, boy, we're sure glad that they're not recording everything because, hey, it's in good fun. It's in good fun. Right. Last thing we right. need is people getting canceled for a good North Pole joke. Uh, well, I don't know uh, how much. I, we've been talking with everyone today, the families who you sent over. And uh, we've been able to help a lot of them. It was very touching. We wouldn't have been able to do it without your help in locating and, and, and vetting the right families. Can you tell everyone watching right now what it is that, that you do and how you created the One Tribe Foundation? Sure. Ten years ago, we started a, a push-up campaign, and it was known as the 22 push-up, 22 kill push-up challenge. And it didn't go viral until uh, 2016 because nothing happens overnight and it didn't go viral until the rock did it. So we're grateful to the rock. Good dude. But we wanted to raise awareness to suicide epidemic that was plaguing our warrior class. And when all the support started pouring in, because we didn't set it up as a fundraiser, we didn't know what to do with those funds. And so we ended up being a pastor entity for several other nonprofits that we knew and are partnered with to do good work until we decided if we're really going to change these men and women's lives, we got to get our hands on them and keep them on them. And so that's when we started to develop in-house programming. And then a couple of years ago, we did a name transition from 22 Kill to One Tribe Foundation, meaning the human tribe. We all, we all bleed red. We're all connected by default. And so since the 22 Kill push-up days, we've evolved into a full-blown mental and emo emotional wellness entity that provides support and services to military, veterans, first responders, law enforcement officers, frontline healthcare workers, and their families. And so we're uh, very grateful to do the work we do. And it comes from a very honest place, considering our backgrounds. And we just want people to know that they're worthy of being loved and uh, that it's okay to not be okay. Right. And I know that you do a lot. You're very hands-on. And of course, you, you do a lot of things financially and pragmatically. But sometimes, really, it's just... It's like little boys and girls around at Christmas. It's just important sometimes that they know someone's thinking of them. Absolutely. Exactly. That's exactly what, what uh, at the heart of it, uh, what the One Tribe is about, is forming that human tribe, creating that community, and uh, being around like-minded individuals. Well, that's great. And I know that uh, with you, everything really, a lot goes directly to the families in need. And you know, we spend a lot of time here at the North Pole. We do a lot of work through charities, but uh, you know, not, not all of them are created equal. Uh, for example, there's the one foundation at one point, less than 1% ironically went to those who needed help. And so we really always want to look for the people where they're going to put the resources to the place where they do the most good. And I want everyone out there to know how hands-on you guys really are and passionate because... That's not always the case, and it really touched us all here at the North Pole. We really appreciate that. I mean, we really do, because um, this job is definitely not for the faint of heart. It's something that will test your grit and test your will. And um, we're very grateful to God that we're still here and still doing this work uh, that we believe is definitely needed. And uh, it's a higher calling. It really is, because... We know we're never going to bat a thousand. There's some people that we work with and we pour into and we have to bury them. And uh, we know that. And we love them all the way anyway. And so we appreciate you saying that because well, that's important to us. We appreciate what you do every, every bit as much as the actual fighting that you've done for this country, which, you know, we know all too well out here. And sometimes it's lip service. We appreciate that you've done that. But also the fight that a lot of people forget about when these people come home. Sometimes uh, wartime heroes have a tough time during peace. Sometimes it's harder for them once they get out of the war and it becomes a war in themselves and they get tossed by the wayside. So we really very much appreciate it. Before we have one last thing for you, because we've talked with these families who you sent to us uh, this week, let everyone know out there who's watching from the North Pole and across, across the whole world, we're international now, thanks to technology, where people can go to support you and look into what you do a little more. Absolutely. Just go to one tribe foundation.org the number one one tribe foundation.org come visit us see what we do uh you can definitely log in and and uh see see how much how you can contribute to to this uh organization and see the, all the good that we're doing here and you can, and can you can provide merchandise because we're coming up on christmas that helps with our overhead 
and your very own Don Nguyen created all of it. Oh, well, awesome. that's that's well, well. There you go. We do actually. We I believe that a lot of merchandise just got sent to a to a homeless shelter, but I think. We've had some returns from Skid Row, ah, yeah. and so <laughs> there'll be plenty. You know, look, you can't make you can't make everyone happy. Sometimes, even yeah. if it's free, so we'll do. A, and that's one right. thing too. I like that when you people be out there. Good, though, and the homeless people are going to be looking good. Yeah, if it's our stuff. So. That's yeah. that was what we thought, but not everyone agrees. But hey, that's the beauty of you know America. It's you know a difference of opinion. North Pole's really it's not exactly the same thing. It's kind of a Puerto Rico situation, but I won't bore you with the details. One thing too, I think some people out there, they see what we've done here today and think, oh, I, I don't have those kinds of financial resources, but there are ways that people can help with you. Just things that they have or their time or their skill set, right? I think a lot of people, they don't realize that's just as important and it's needed just as much. Absolute fact. Absolutely. You do not have to wear a uniform in order to serve your nation. It's a misnomer. You just wake up and be giving. It's a season of giving. Be willing to give your time, just like you said, Santa. Be willing to give your talent and volunteer and come help out. We meet all, we can't have enough advocates for volunteers. The yeah. more, the better. Over here, we say, you know, this the whole foundation, this whole organization started because a couple of Marines gave a damn. And that, that's all we're asking is for people to give a damn. And it, obviously, Santa, you give a damn, and we appreciate that. Yes. We, Thank you. We really do, and you know what? I can't take all the credit. The, the, the elves also do, too. A lot of people don't know that these elves are, uh, they're all volunteers. That's actually oh, that's what, awesome. they, they're here not because they have to, but because they want to. There was a spell back in around the 1800s where a few of them tried to unionize, and, you know, <laughs> we had to have a, <laughs> we had to let, you know, you, look. You, you set them straight. You, I, I appreciate it, Sandy. You set them straight. No, 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 no. The, the, the North Pole is a, it's a, it's a right to work again. Not exactly state, but you know, it's a Puerto Rico situation. So uh, the other elves decided, no, we think we have a pretty good deal. And it's, things are lost in translation. You know, I was around before the term indentured servitude was even a thing. So, you know, we have to switch with the times, but the elves seem to be happy with it. Now, we do have one more thing here today. We've helped the families directly, but we also wanted to do a little bit more and help your organization as you go into the new year. So one final surprise here for the One Tribe Foundation. We have the elf bringing it in. This is for you, Jacob and Don. It's heavy. Is another check directly for you to do the wow. good that you continue to do that for 10 awesome. Thousand dollars, and that's an American currency, not North Pole. <laughs> we are very grateful and humbled. Thank you so much, Santa, because every penny is going to be used to continue the fight for the greater good, and we we truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, Santa. And boys and girls, Santa does exist, and, and he's awesome. All right. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much, and and we'll be sending, by the way, uh, some more there uh, behind the scenes and, and some more resources. So we'll be in touch. I'll have some elves reach out to you and, and, and help you with things that you need. We really appreciate all the good that you do, all the good that you've done, and uh, we're very grateful to be a part of it. Thank you, genuinely. Thank you, Thank Santa. You so much. God bless. Absolutely. Merry Christmas. Go have a good time with your man bun. <laughs> 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 I don't fully understand it but that's a oh, oh look at this oh. oh oh he's losing his antlers oh 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 that's joe lewis there at the north pole i don't know if you know this but that's actually that's actually years of evolution camouflage really <laughs> yes stark white just fits right in <laughs> but it's but the fact that he actually has no cold tolerance is one of nature's cruelest tricks. It is, because it's really hard to find him, Santa, when he gets out. Nature is a cruel mistress, and so is his tail. Do you hear that? I do. Whacking against the North Pole. Well, and being an elf, it's at the wrong height. It's at the wrong it height. It you, yes. It's a tail, it's a whip, <laughs> and boy, sometimes he'll clear a table. And Santa, you know, it's actually a good thing that I have this belly that hangs a little bit low, which sort of acts like some protection. Joe Lewis, we can let, let's let him go back out to the toy shop. He doesn't, he doesn't want the reindeer. He doesn't want those antlers. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame him. It's understandable. The reindeer don't want the reindeers. They don't. No. By the way. It's in the way. Did you know that reindeer, they're very different to hunt than moose. Really? Moose get aggressive. Reindeers freeze. They're peaceful animals, you know. Well, they, they pull the sleigh, Santa, so, you know, we didn't really have to, to hunt. They pull the sleigh, that's true, but there might be a little bit of chemical enhancement. That's Christmas magic! 
<laughs> it's acceptable. It's acceptable. Oh, you try going around the whole world in one night. By the way, just can I clarify one thing? Because I know some people out there. I get it. You're doubters, and you don't want to. You don't want to do the math. Look, Santa doesn't have to go around the entire world in one night. Okay, so for the children watching, look, it's a simple mathematical equation. First off, not everyone celebrates Christmas. Which I think is sad, but... Very sad, yes. You know, it's 2023, they have the right to. Not everyone celebrates Christmas. Not everyone is a child. Santa brings Chris Christmas gifts to children. Not to everybody. So now we've reduced that by a significant amount. And there is something known as... Well, the naughty nice list. Mm -hmm. That's a culling every year. It does, yes. It and it grows. It grows year by year. So everyone out there, look, you're making Santa's job easier, ironically. Also, have you heard of time zones? It's a great invention, <laughs> isn't it? It's, it's one of those things people don't take into account. You just there are a lot of people who, and not to mention, how many people do you actually know out there who truly keep the spirit of Christmas alive and believe in Santa Claus? That number is far lower than you would think. Mm. And so it's not, and also there is a little bit of Christmas magic where it's sort of a time slip. There's but a way to slow it down. You kind of buried the lead there, Santa. That's yes, of, but that, the that's... important thing is the, the pragmatic approach is time zones. Not everyone celebrates Christmas. The naughty list. Adults. Lots of doubters. That right there narrows it down. And then, yeah, I also have the ability to slow down time. That seems like a really good thing to be able to do. Yeah. So cool. Important. It does. <laughs> it's cool. It's so cool. <laughs> the problem is, when you slow down time, mm. you age at an accelerated rate. Is that why? Yes. I was fully gray. I mean, Santa, you By the look, time I was 112. You look great <laughs> for your age, because I know you're very old, but... I well, I'm, I'm telling that. you, I did not have... We had one Christmas that year. You know, there was the, there was the year the shot heard around the world. Are you mm. familiar with Fer Ferdinand? Yes. Yes. I wasn't gray before then. Really? Just happened. Wow. A lot of stress. A lot of stress. A lot of stress lot of eating. Chimneys. And you know what? The point is, hey, look... Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to those people around you. Of course, you need to be disciplined and make sure that you're doing the right thing. But hey, every now and then, we have a misstep. And every now and then, someone out there maybe needs a little bit of help. And you're there. Every, how many times have you, in your life, I think everyone here needed a, needed a hand up? Mm -hmm. We're not, there's a difference between a leg up and a hand out. Right. Especially for people out there who've dedicated their lives to helping, serving other people. And sometimes it presents in different ways. Sometimes it's someone who's served their country, living through horrors that many of us can only imagine. Sometimes it's as simple as a young boy performing the Heimlich that he learned on a YouTube short, right. saving someone else's life. And sometimes it can be as simple as helping mom after a long day do the dishes if dad isn't around anymore and you have to be the man of the house. But really, Christmas, of course, everyone says it's about giving presents as much as it is receiving presents, but that's also a miss for a long time. People weren't giving out presents. There was a long period. People were happy to get an orange. Mm. It was exotic. It was before modern shipping. Refrigeration. It's a period of time. People, if they had, they had a fillet of trout, I had to sandwich it in a barrel through layers of salt. It wasn't easy. We didn't have to always make toys. You're right. We, we switched over from the agrarian gifts. That's true. And then got into the toy making. The point is everything tasted the same, but guess what? People were happy for the little bit that they did have. Santa started out just helping in a way that we saw need, North Pole, and we weren't in the same kind of need. And we said, okay, what can we do here this year? And those grew and our operations became more efficient. And no one's as grateful as I am, but sometimes I wish we could go back to a simpler time where... We're not only grateful for the things that we had, but helped each other in the community and looked around to see who else out there needed a little bit of help. That's really what this is about on a day-to-day -day basis at Christmas. There are people right now who need help in your neighborhood, maybe on your block, in your city. They could be public servants. They could be veterans. They could be moms without a dad. They could be dads without a moms. They could be people who are sick. They could be children who are struggling at school. And there's something that you can do to help them. There's always something that you can do to help the person next to you. Just think about what that is. Be mindful. And you know, I will say this. That's what Santa is. It's sort of a parable that everyone can understand. Giving to people while expecting nothing in return. But... It's important that I tell you, Christmas, and that's why we don't do holidays, Christmas, there was a great one who came before me, 
who did a lot more than just deliver some presents, was someone who delivered himself. If you know what I'm talking about, you know how serious that was, how dark this world was for a period of time, and hope was given to everyone, whether you choose to accept it or not. The world changed from one way of darkness, hopelessness, lost, soullessness, just to the change of having a choice and having hope. It was so significant that we changed our calendar for it. We have the world was one way, and it changed after this date, which we celebrate as Christmas Day, to be another way. So whether it's oranges, trout sandwiched through layers of salt before refrigeration, or oranges, that came back into fashion, you know? Yeah, they yeah. did have a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> or Xboxes, it's but a drop in the bucket from what came before all of us here, and what we have done today is but a drop in the bucket that, uh, compared to everything you've done out there, we support you, we appreciate you, it really is mutual support. So thank you everything that you've done for us and making this possible to Mug Club. I have to take off my gloves because I get a little clammy. And we do this every year. It's one of the little joys that we get to do that really it's kind of selfish. We get to enjoy this and you get to see hopefully the fruits of your contributions, your labor. We appreciate it. We wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and Mug Club, we will see you and all the new members who joined over Christmas in January 2024. Merry Christmas! Get together, have a few laughs. Cheryl gives the worst directions. Okay, Isn't escape back there? Join Mug Club today for $89 annually to support content like this and get access to the entire network. Louderwithcrowder.com slash mug club. Where the white women at?